Hi and welcome back to another video. Today we are talking about Microsoft Excel's new filter function. Um, so hopefully you guys find this useful. If you do, please hit the like button, click subscribe and tap that bell. Um, and let's get started. Right, so the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to have a little data table just like this one here. Um, and this is a simple table with salespeople, um, the region that they work in, and their sales by month. And what we want to do is create a filter that can filter this data by region and pull back the sales for us. Um, so we could obviously just apply a standard filter. Um, however, some data sets are so complex that actually you'd end up applying potentially 10 or so filters to get to the data that you want. This filter function lets us do this um, whole process much more efficiently. Okay, so what we'll do is we'll copy out um, region and month um, just from here and we'll just drop those over there. And what I'm going to do quickly is just add a couple of drop down menus. So data, data verification, um, we're going to create a list and I've created our regions there and I will drop another data verification list um, in my lookups for the months. Okay, so what we'll do first is we're going to create a filter function that filters our data set by the region of England. Um, so to do this, we're going to open up filter and it's a three part function. The first part is the array. The second part is the criteria. And then the last part is a um, catch all if it can't filter for whatever reason. So for the first part, we want to select our entire data range all the way down. We can't include the headers. It only has to be the, the actual data itself. Um, and then we want to say, okay, we want to filter the region. So the include is include the region part of the, the data and it has to equal England. Okay. So what we've done here is we've selected our data. We then selected the range that needs to be filtered and then we've given it what we want to actually filter it by. Okay, so that looks like this. We'll press comma and then what we do is we'll open up a couple of quotations like this and then type in not found. And basically what that'll do is that will let us um, basically apply an if not found uh, scenario. So um, for example, that's the data filtered by England um, and if it couldn't find anything, it would have said not found. Okay, so this here, as you can see, is all of our data filtered by England. And because this is a drop down menu, we can dynamically change it to Wales, to Scotland. Okay, now I've added two criteria. So, how do you do that? We come back into our filter. So, I'm just going to um, delete this one and start again. We'll go and choose a month of March. And our filter will look like this. We'll go equals filter open bracket. We'll select the entire range, comma, and our first criteria, which is the region. So we're going to select the entire region range. And we're going to say that has to equals Scotland. Okay. Now, in order to have two criteria, we have to first put this one into um, parentheses, open parentheses and a close parentheses. And what this will do is it will then tell this filter function that this part needs to be treated in isolation to the rest. Okay. Now we can't just add a comma to get to another filter criteria. Instead, what we have to do is we have to use the asterisks. Um, so we're not multiplying two different criteria together. Um, instead, we're basically telling the filter function that there are two filters to be applied. And the only way to do that is to use the asterisks. Okay. What we'll do is open up another bracket. Um, and this time we want the criteria that holds all the months. So we'll pull that down and we're going to say that has to equals the month of March. Okay. And then we'll close that um, parentheses. So here what we have is the filter, open bracket, the entire range that we're trying to filter, comma, open bracket, the first filter range and the criteria that we want to filter that range by, close bracket, asterisks, 
the second criteria, so open bracket, the second criteria range, which is a list of months, um, and it has to equals the month of March, close bracket. Um, and then what we're going to do is just add that um, catch all at the end, so not found um, in, within quotations, and then just close off um, with an end parentheses. If we press enter on that, we can now see there are two results found for our criteria of Scotland and March. And obviously we can change these months and change the um, region. And it's as simple as that. Now we can obviously take this one step further. So this particular function looks quite messy um, like this. So you know we have a lot of various ranges going on. It's not the easiest thing to read. So what we can do is actually take our data source here and convert it into an Excel table. Okay, so the easiest way to do that is just go to the Home tab and um, format it as a table. And just select the first option, it has headers, and there we go. So now what we have here is something called Table 2. And what we can do is delete our filter function. We have our criteria still, so we're going to still use those, um, with the exception being that our filter will look slightly differently. Um, so we'll open up a filter function and the array is now a table reference. So if we hover above the top left hand corner of the table, we get a diagonal arrow um, pointing down. If we give that a click, it will then automatically select that entire table and drop it into our filter array. Um, we'll hit comma. And now what we want to do is we want to include the entire region range and make it equals England, right? So to do that, we'll hover just above the um, region field and select the entire region range. And what this has done is it's dropped it straight into our filter as table two region. Okay, and then we're going to do is equals F2 England. Okay, and obviously we could type that in, but we want this to be as a drop down menu. Okay, um, what we should have done is actually added brackets here because we want multiple criteria. So we've now put that inside those um, parentheses. We'll add the asterisks, open up parentheses, um, just hover above the month of March in the data set, give that a click, and we'll pull in the table two month. Um, and we're gonna make that equals G2, the month of April, um, close the bracket, um, press comma, and we're gonna do the capture all at the end um, called not found and we'll close the bracket off and press enter. So we're pulling back the exact same results. The difference is that the function actually is a little bit more readable. Um, so it's easy to see exactly what's happening, um, but also we can add data to our data set without having to readjust our filter ranges. Um, so dynamically, um, this is the best way to actually go about doing it. And there's a, a huge movement more towards using Excel tables rather than just dropping raw data into cells. Um, when you do it as a table, you can pick it up within um, SharePoint, within Power BI, and there's a lot of other cool functionality that you can do with the tables themselves um, that you just don't get just by dropping the data into the cells randomly. Um, so that's it, guys. That's how you do a filter function. Um, hopefully you guys found this useful. If you did, smash that like button, um, click subscribe, hit the bell, and I will catch you in the next video.